Guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's that time again. 126 souls. So what do we have to do? We need to go to the store. We need to, to make some purchases. So doing alright on the leaderboard, so I'm happy with that at the moment. Where are we standing? I had to change my faction um last week or the week before to the Spec Ops one. So we're doing really good still in the first place, so I'm really happy about that. In the top ten percent as well. So I'm getting a decent amount of reward once this is over. Which is going to be in how long now? Six hours time, so hopefully I can maintain it or climb a little bit higher. But anyways, over to the store. So let's see, we need to obviously do some alliance. Maybe a couple of card packs. Then obviously finish it off with the combat pack. You guys know the drill. So let's do five of these. Maybe ten. Depends on how I feel really. So, um, the peak, which means I've already got it. So someone already told me about this already. I can't remember who told me, but thank you very much for giving that... To bringing that to my attention so you can see I get a bronze card which obviously gets a nice fusion to number five beautiful thank you so if there's a peak on top of the card and then that shows that it's a card that you already own um, pack number two see so there's no peak there so which means it's a new card there we go lovely obviously things like the uh, level up cards um, or upgrade cards they will not have the peak on it so that's a level up three on a silver pack number three gives us a beautiful level up love these cards number four level up on a bronze lovely special one and five gives us Level up on a special two bronze. I'm going to do ten of these. I've got a lot of these alliance credits, so let's just see if we can get some new stuff that I don't already own. So number six is going to give us today, guys. Lovely, Ermac. A three percent bonus health for Ermac characters. I don't have that, so that's lovely. I'm appreciating that. Number seven. I'm glad I carried on now. Gives us beautiful another level up. Number eight. Lovely, special one, bronze. Number nine. Beautiful, x-ray, gold characters only. And finally ten, but not least. Gives us... Beautiful, special one on a silver tier character. <clears throat> so, following that, what do we do next? card packs so I've got 186 Whew, got a lot I got a lot I think I'll do maybe two maybe three of these I'm not sure see how, how I feel when I get on so um, I saw peaks there so which means there's characters and a card that I already own already so get a 3% bonus attack for all Kano characters lovely don't have that medallion I already have this but this is fusion from four to five now so that's beautiful Just increase on the resistance lovely thank you and who do I get today Ermac. I like Ermac actually, so he's quite a cool character to, to rank up, so that brings my Ermac to Elite 2. Look at his strength, amazing. Card pack number 2. Are we getting are there any peaks? Yeah, I can see a peak. It's on the second one I think, so we get a level up on a silver. Special one. The amulet. Uh, so this is an increased resistance from 21 to 22%. And there's no peak on this card, so this is something I do not own already. So let's see what we get. Night, thank you, guys. This completes this completes my collection on my silver characters. I now have all of the bronze characters, and I have all of the silver characters. This includes the unlocks on consoles as well. So I'm actually quite happy that I've actually finally, finally got Kenshi. So his passive dual nature, so a plus. 40% attack when teamed with some martial arts and a plus 40% health when teamed with spec ops characters. Ah, <sighs> thank you, Kenshi. So, um, I'm actually quite happy with that. Should I carry on? Yeah, I'm just gonna have to do one more. So let me just have a quick look at my character selection. So, all of these guys, the bronze are all completed, lovely. And now all of my silver tier characters are completed as well, and I have the bronze and silvers 
I think I have to start moving on to the golds next, don't I? I mean, I could obviously just start with purchasing Kane if I really wanted to. Um, there are characters that I can purchase as well, like Injustice Scorpion. Um, uh, I just don't know right now. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that for now. So let's um, head back to the card pack and I'm going to buy one more card pack and then we can move on to the combat pack. Let's see what we get today. Oh, I see spikes. So, um, they are cards that are already on. So, I've got a level 3 on a silver. I've got a bloodstone. So, it's again, increased resistance from a 34 to 36%. So, this goes from Elite 2 to Elite 3 or Fusion 3, however you want to say it. And who do I get today? Oh, Mac again, lovely. It's funny how you continu consistently get the same cards when you buy a, a fair few in a, in a run. That's cool. That uh, ranks up uh, Mac nicely. 5,000 on his strength. He's really strong. And his passive's amazing as well. So he's definitely a card worth having. So, combat pack. Guys, still on 20% discount. So, definitely, I'm going to buy it today and let's see what we get. Oh, I'm going to obviously look out for the peak. Is it going to be a peak? There's peaks. Peaks in all three of them. So, things I already have. So, we've got special warfare unit. So, this is. Fusion increased the energy regeneration for all Cassie Cage characters from 3 to 6%. Beautiful. Cassie's a good character, so I'm happy with that. Who's this one? Hood. Yep, already got this one. This is so it's increased toughness from 14 to 15%. Beautiful. You can see I've got that on my Injustice Scorpion. And finally, character. Who we get? Nice. Sonya Blade. Fusion from this one. So this is from Elite 1 to Elite 2. I've got to start ranking up a little bit more because she's obviously going to be. Very, very crucial in, in my battles now. Look at that strength and health. Beautiful. Oh, right, so let's have a quick look at my collection, guys. Just so you can see what I, I have in regards to characters. It's annoying that you can't sort this by any other order, like bronze and then silver. So, uh, anyways, it, obviously it's by newest. So you can see I've got Ken Shees. I've got my Scorpions, Cassie Cage, Katanas. got Reptiles, Devorahs. I've got a nice array of characters. I wish I could sort it by strength and health. Like, it's just really annoying that you can't change the filter any other way, apart from looking at them individually, like bronze and silvers and things like that. But yeah, a good selection that I'm, I'm having right now, so I'm quite proud of my team. Look at my Sonya, she's my beast right now. But my new Sonya's gonna be even better when I when I rank her up. And a passive, Demolition Sonya. In case you don't know, this is a, a plus 30% attack for all Spec Ops characters. So you can see I've got 39 of these level up cards as well. So I'll say I'll save them for those days when I get at least my character to at least level 40. Then I'll probably start using those level up cards. But guys, like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.